I want to have a look at the effect of dropping a magnet through a coil. So what I'm going to take is a coil, connect it to a galvanometer, and then we're going to drop a magnet through the hole in the coil. And we're going to see what happens. Let's have a look. I have here a galvanometer and it's connected up to a 50 turns coil and what I'm going to do is take a strong magnet and I'm going to put it slowly into the coil. I keep it still and again no movement on the galvanometer and I'm going to pull it out and we can see that it moves the other way. Let's put it in quickly. We have a bigger deflection to the right and I pull it out quickly and I have a bigger deflection to the left. Let's swap this coil, which is a 50 turns coil, with a coil this time with 500 turns on it. We'll put the, the magnet in slowly and we get a much bigger deflection and I bring it out slowly and again I still get a bigger deflection than we had with the 50 turns. If I put this in quickly we get a massive deflection and pull it out I get a massive deflection. You'll notice that when I put it in slowly I had a deflection one way and it goes out the other way but when I put it in quickly I turn the magnet over so if I don't this time we'll get a big deflection to the right and coming out a big deflection to the left. So the magnet here makes a difference with the speed and it makes a difference with the polarity. When it's still in the coil nothing happens but when it's moved we get a deflection. That was a 500 turn coil. Let's see what happens if I take this with a thousand turn coil. We would predict that we're going to get a bigger deflection and indeed slowly I get a much bigger deflection basically similar to moving quickly in the 50 turn coil. 